Wellness is my 27 week pregnancy update. So this week I've had two doctor's appointments. Um, the first one was just at my uh, gynecologist and it was for the glucose test. Now I don't have the results yet because it obviously just happened. Um, but I'm not too worried about it to be honest just because I'm not someone who eats a whole lot of junk food or candy so um, I feel like my sugar levels should be in the normal range but um, I'll find out at my next appointment which is going to be in two weeks. They also did the uh, first CTG um, so they hooked me up for I think it was 20 minutes onto the fetal monitor they checked to see if I have contractions, I didn't, which is awesome. And then they also monitored uh, baby boy's heartbeat for those 20 minutes and uh, everything looked normal, everything is fine with his heartbeat. He did however kick quite a lot against the sensors so I'm guessing he didn't like it very much. And it was funny because every time that he would like kick against it, um, you could see like a little peak on the paper. Um, which like almost looked like it would be a contraction, but it obviously wasn't a contraction, it was just because he was kicking against it. Uh, but I just thought it was a little funny. Um, I wonder if he actually feels that. Someone told me, I'm not sure if it was my mom or someone else, but someone actually told me that it's like really loud for the baby. Uh, so maybe that's why he kicked a lot. I have no idea. I was a little disappointed because I didn't get uh, to see baby boy, so there is no new ultrasound pictures. Um, I have to wait another two weeks. So now actually my appointments are uh, two weeks apart from each other, where in the past they were four weeks apart from each other, but now I have to go every two weeks. <sighs> so excited because it's like I'm getting closer and closer to meet my baby boy, you know, it's like starting to feel real and I'm also starting to kind of stress out because there's so much I still need to do but anyway I'm like totally rambling right now when I took my blood for the glucose test they also checked my vitamin D levels and they also checked to see if I have toxoplasmosis and I think I've mentioned in like one of my early pregnancy updates that my gynecologist prescribed me vitamin D pills just because I was lacking a lot of vitamin D um, so I'm hoping that now my vitamin D levels are where they should be my gynecologist she also told me that I have to come in every week now not for a real appointment because like I said before my actual checkups are two weeks apart now but she wants me to come in every single week to get my blood pressure taken which annoys me a little bit because it's a hassle to always go there once a week so next week I don't have my appointment for my checkup but I have to go in to get my blood pressure taken and then the following week I have my next checkup where I'm gonna see baby boy uh, I'm so excited I can't wait the other doctor's appointment that I had was with my kidney specialist so my nephrologist um, and it was just to kind of talk about my kidney situation that I have going on right now. I told you guys that I have a second grade reflux and it can be really serious especially for me because I only have one kidney um, and my kidney function has already gone down but you know I, I went there and she did an ultrasound of my kidney and it hasn't gotten worse. It stayed the same. So for now she's not going to do anything, uh, she's just going to wait and see and I have to go in and uh, have her take an ultrasound and you know they also check my blood and my urine every single time that I go there um, and it's every two weeks. Uh, so I have a lot of doctor's appointments currently and in the, f in the near future but she did say that once it gets worse um, I'm actually going to have to go to the hospital and she made it sound like I would be in the hospital for the entire rest of my pregnancy which I hope doesn't happen. I don't want to be in the hospital for that long. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that the situation isn't going to get worse but uh, my family and I, we, we think it will get worse. Especially once baby boy gets even bigger. Once the situation does get worse, I'm just going to have to go in the hospital and they're going to... Um, 
give me a um, catheter, which I'm a little like scared about just because I hate needles and uh, I'm like, I don't know, needles I just don't like. <laughs> It's not that I have a low pain tolerance, but it's just needles, they give me a weird feeling and I just, uh, I don't, I don't like them. My mom always says that I'm like already in the hospital with one foot, just because of my kidney situation currently, but uh, we will see. Um, so yeah, that's been it for doctor's appointments this week. Symptoms, I'm still feeling like I'm running a fever even though I'm not. Uh, I still have a little bit of this like cold or flu feeling. Yeah, I just been feeling like I have no energy still and uh, I have been getting intense cramps in my calves. I think on my pregnancy app it's called restless leg syndrome. So it's really uncomfortable and I now take magnesium twice a day in the morning and then before I go to sleep just to kind of help my muscle um, in my calves because it's like really painful. It's like worse once you're pregnant. Like, Think of your regular calf cramps. It's kind of like a growing pain. But anyway, like once you're pregnant and you get those, it's like 10 times worse. I'm not even joking. Like, It's really painful and uncomfortable. The magnesium helps a little bit, but I still get those cramps, they're just not as painful anymore, but that's pregnancy for you. <laughs> oh well, just gotta push through it. So that's everything that's been going on this week. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my belly now. Alright, so this is my belly from the front with my shirt on. And from the side. And from this side. And, oops, without my shirt from the front and from the side and from the side. Okay, so that is it for this week's update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.